हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चंस ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर नाइन इनकम एंड स्पेंडिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हेयर वी इन्वेस्टिगेट अ पर्टिकुलर एग्जांपल ऑफ द मॉडल स्टडीड इन सेक्शंस 9.2 एंड 9.3 विद नो गवर्नमेंट सपोज कंजम्पन फंक्शन इज गिवन बाय सी इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड प्लस पॉइंट एट वाई वाइल इन्वेस्टमेंट इज गिवन बाय आई इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी एंड फर्स्ट पार्ट इज वट इज द इक्लिब्रम लेवल ऑफ इनकम इन दिस केस सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन एट इक्लिब्रम आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू एग्रीगेट डिमांड दैट इज वाई इक्वल्स टू ए डी इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी कैन राइट इट एज वाई इक्वल्स टू कंजम्पन प्लस इन्वेस्टमेंट Although we know that AD, that is aggregate demand, has four components: consumption, investment, government expenditure, and net exports. However, in our question, it is clearly mentioned with no government, and net exports is also not given in the question. That is the reason we have written C plus I. Okay. in the next step we will incorporate the consumption function and the value of investment so we can write y equals to 100 plus 0.8y this is the consumption function plus 50 this is investment next step y minus 0.8y becomes 0.2y and 100 plus 50 becomes 150 and finally we get the value of y as 750 at the end we can write Thus, equilibrium level of income is seven fifty. Clear. Second part: What is the level of savings in equilibrium? We know that income is either consumed or saved. So we can write y equals to consumption plus savings. In the next step, we can write it as savings equals to income minus consumption. Next step, savings equals to income minus consumption function, which is given as hundred plus point eight y. Next step, savings equals to y minus point eight y becomes point two y minus hundred. Because we have to find out level of savings in equilibrium, so in the next step we will incorporate equilibrium level of income at this. place and we have already calculated equilibrium level of income in our first part as 750 so we will write savings equals to 0.2 times 750 minus 100 and finally the value of savings is 50 so at the end we can write thus equilibrium level of savings is 50 we also know that in a two sector economy savings is equal to investment at equilibrium level and this condition is also fulfilled in our case savings which is equal to 50 is equal to investment clear next part if for some reason output is at the level of 800 what will the level of involuntary inventory accumulation be okay so we have output is equal to 800 then ad which is equal to consumption plus investment 100 plus 0.8 y plus 50 because we have output level given as 800 so in the next step we will incorporate this output level at this place and this will be 100 plus 50 which is 150 plus 0.8 times 800 and the value of ad is 790 so when output level is 800 aggregate demand is 790 now unplanned inventories denoted by iu which is equal to output minus aggregate demand so output was 800 and aggregate demand was 790 unplanned inventory is equal to 10 at the end we can write 
देयर फोर द लेवल ऑफ इनवॉलेंट्री इन्वेंट्री एक्यूमुलेशन विल बी टेन क्लियर नेक्स्ट पार्ट इफ इन्वेस्टमेंट राइजेस टू हंड्रेड वॉट विल द इफेक्ट बी ऑन द इक्लिबरम इनकम ओके सो लेट आई डैश इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड एट इक्लिबरम आउटपुट इक्वल्स एग्रीकेट डिमांड इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी कैन राइट इट एस वाई इक्वल्स टू सी प्लस आई डैश कंजम्पन फंक्शन विल रिमेन सेम दैट इज हंड्रेड प्लस पॉइंट एट फाइव बट नाउ द इन्वेस्टमेंट लेवल इज हंड्रेड सो इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी कैन राइट y माइनस पॉइंट एट फाइव बिकम्स पॉइंट टू वाई एंड हंड्रेड प्लस हंड्रेड बिकम्स टू हंड्रेड एंड इक्लिब्रम लेवल ऑफ इनकम इन दिस केस इज थाउजेंड अर्लियर इट वॉज सेवन फिफ्टी सो एट द एंड वी कैन राइट इक्लिब्रम इनकम हैज बीन इंक्रीज फ्रॉम सेवन फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड देर इज ऑल्सो एन ऑल्टरनेटिव सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन Since investment is increased from fifty to hundred, that is change in investment equals to fifty, and we know that multiplier equals to one upon one minus MPC equals to change in Y upon change in autonomous spending. In our case, change in autonomous spending is equal to change in investment. Value of MPC can be find out from the consumption function. So, in our consumption function, value of MPC is. 0.8. In the next step, we will write 1 upon 1 minus 0.8 equals to change in y upon 50. That is change in investment. 1 upon 0.2 equals to change in y upon 50. And finally, change in y is 250. So we can write equilibrium income will increase by 250. New equilibrium income will be seven fifty plus two fifty, which is thousand. So this is an alternative solution of D part. Next, what is the value of multiplier alpha here? Okay, so we know that uh, multiplier equals to one upon one minus MPC. In our case, MPC is zero point eight. So in the next step, we will write one upon one. Minus point eight, which is equal to one upon one upon zero point two, which is equals to five. So the value of multiplier is five. Clear. Next part. Draw a diagram indicating the equilibria in both part A and part D. Okay. So here we have two axes. This is the origin. On the horizontal axis, we have taken income or output, and on the vertical axis, we have taken aggregate demand. This is our forty-five degree line. Now let's come on to part A. In part A, our aggregate demand function was calculated as hundred plus fifty, which is one fifty, plus zero point eight five. so this was the ad function for part a now we will draw ad curve for part a and we'll write ad equals to 150 plus 0.8 y this will be the point of equilibrium named as point e in part a equilibrium level of income was calculated as 750 So we'll write seven fifty. Clear. Now let's come on to part D. In part D, when investment rises to hundred, aggregate demand function becomes two hundred plus zero point eight y. So now we will draw AD curve for part D. due to the increase in investment ad curve will shift upwards and we'll write ad dash equals to 200 plus 0.8 y where change in investment is equal to 50 this will be the point of equilibrium 
named as point E dash. In part D, new equilibrium income was 1000. So we will write 1000. So the question was given draw a diagram indicating the equilibria in both part A and part D and we have drawn this diagram which shows equilibrium for part A and equilibrium for part D. Clear? Thank you.